morning, everybody, and welcome to Chesedus in the morning, 15 minutes to change our lives. Finishing up this uh, first sikha. So basically, we're in the middle of a discussion, and we're probably going to finish it today. We're in the middle of a discussion about what the Vashantav says, that in this week, Pasha, we say the word Boyalateva. It says, Hashem tells Noyach, Boyalateva, come to the Yak. So the Bashan explains what it means, Boyalateva, come to the Teva, to the Tevas, to the Asius, which is the same letters as the letters, as Asius, which means letters. Meaning Teva and Asius have the same letters, and the Asius means the letters of Terence Phil. The Bashan says, in order, in order to, to overcome the raging waters of the world around you and all the struggles and trials and tribulations of life, the trick is, to Boyalateva, come to the Ark, meaning to Torah Mitzvah. <clears throat> and, that's, and that's sort of what we're saying. And we say when a person starts his day, that's why when we start our day, we first we say, Mayda'ani, we recognize that Hashem is in charge, and we say, thank Hashem, give him back an Anishama. Basically, in simple English, put in, putting our head on the straight. <coughs> and then we said, one second, why do we, in Davidi, in the morning breakfast, we say things that seemingly are superfluous? Like we ask for, thank you Hashem for giving us our clothes, when our clothes are already on. We already put them on, they're already there. So we said, it's like the story of, uh, of, um, Rav Yesa, that he, that before he would eat, while the food was in front of him, he'd say, Hashem, please give me my food. So, <laughs> what, what was that, a trick? It was a joke? The food was in front of him. So the, the vart is, like we said in last week's parasha, in last week's sikha, that really the world for itself doesn't really exist. The world by itself doesn't exist. And the only reason why it's existing is because Hashem making it exist. So therefore, even though the fruit is in front of him now, he knows that if Hashem wants, the next second, it, it, doesn't, it just stops ex- making it exist and doesn't exist anymore. So he's thanking Hashem for giving me, he's asking Hashem for a bracha that should have food, reckon, meaning that even when he comes to eat, which is such a mundane, simple thing, he's reminding himself and recognizing that Hashem is totally in charge. And this is sort of what we're talking about. Yeah. And through that preface of that governing, because he recognized that physicality for itself has no place at all. doesn't doesn't truly exist. Because Hashem needs to constantly make it, make it uh, exist. Like the rock going in the air. The rock doesn't go in the air. It's because of the force that's being pushed into it is making it go in the air. So anyone that sees a rock in the air, they understand that by nature the rock doesn't go in the air. That's not natural. That's also actual reality. The reality is that the rock falls down. But the fact that the rock is going in the air is because there's a force inside of it. And so too with our world. So too with us. The fact that we exist is because of Hashem making us exist right now. And he recognized not just that the world is being recreated every single moment, but the whole purpose of the creation is for the honor of Hashem. So yes, now you have Sharyus, Lasik, Minyani Yoelam, Ibli Lachshesh, Miyamayim Hazdainim. So therefore, if we have this Hanacha, this action, this way of looking at the world, so then the challenges will be <coughs> will go away. Because we'll see things very differently. Lifli at Tfilah. So one second, but before we daven, before we, we think about this, when we've gone to this level, what happens? But when we daven, before we daven, so what do we see? We see there's a world. The world exists, and, and the physicality is important. When we haven't meditated yet, so that's what we see. That's, that's the reality we're seeing, God forbid. So that level, before we've daven, before we've internalized this message, so what do we see? Whatever's permissible in the world, it's kosher, it's good. I remember once when I was a Bach in Yeshiva, we had this guy, Rabbi, I uh, put his name. He writes the books. Well, Oliver Shalom passed away, but he wrote the, the Pesach guidebooks. Like, what's kosher, what's not? So he said, I scream, and it was totally confusing to me. And he goes, I scream on top of my lungs. Um, he goes, ice cream. And he goes, ice cream on top of my lungs, ice cream. He's like, ice cream. And I was like, what? And he, so he was saying, ice cream. That it's... It's kosher. So eat ice cream. It's kosher. Relax. Whatever's kosher is kosher. But what we're saying is this is exactly the opposite of what we're saying. We're saying that before, but, but this, that's the level before we daven. So before we daven, before we internalize this message 
of the world doesn't really exist, but the whole existence because Hashem is making it exist, and the purpose for that is so that we will bring out the goldenness within the whole every part of the world. So before that, we see the world. So what happens? It's 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 kosher. Let's do breakfast. So whatever it's kosher, let me eat it. It doesn't matter. I don't think about the the ultimate purpose of why I was created and why am I meant to be eating this breakfast? I want it. I'm hungry. It tastes good. It feels good. She has a mutter, but why not says. Um, has has suffic, and what what about something that we're not sure it's it's permissible or not? What happens? Ah, full mutter. It's it's permissible. Why? Mishum um ukmei decha um achaz kisa ulash lahashir es metius becheskas bechazaka shel elam. Meaning like this: There's a concept that 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 if you if let's say there's a field and then no one knows who the owner and you come and take ownership of it and someone says hey that's my field so they have to they have to the burden of the proof is on that person if i if ruvain is on a field is take takes the field shimon comes and says hey that's my field the shimon has to prove that it's his field and that's what we're saying so so the when the reality is that the world exists and and, and the world by itself exists and whatever is permissible and therefore whatever is permissible it's kosher it's good it's it's a free game, as they say. And and so what happens if it's not a hundred percent sure this is good or not, it's permissible? So the proof is on is on is on the Kedusha to say that this is a problem. The Hazaka, the, the assumption is this is good. You have to bring the proof. And that's a problem. That's a it's a very bad anachem. It's like it's like to use a bad example. A friend of mine said, he goes, he has a friend, his friends are not so from well, whatever, they're a different style of Judaism. And they said, so what's the best thing about Shabbos? Uh, what is the best thing about a winter Shabbos? Is a Shabbos Shalof. Because you wake up and Shabbos is over. So this is sort of that mentality. When you don't have this Hanacha, this, this, this action that we've been learning. So you look at Shabbos, it's like, oh, it's an annoying day. I can't go on my phone. Wait until it finishes. And things like that. But, Aval. But when you have the axiom, like we learned, that the, the, in truth the world doesn't really exist. So yes, there's only really God for whom and He recreates the world from the ultimate nothingness, for the intent that Hashem created the world that we should have a dwelling place. Then, when that's your axiom, what does it mean, existence? What does it mean, the world that we live in? So, therefore, after this, with this axiom, everything that I do and every encounter in the world that I have is under this assumption. And therefore, the, the maskana, the, the like the akam. The way we see things is is opposite of what we said before, because before we said whatever's permissible for sure is good, and what is what is uh, a questionable, it's good. And if you want to say it's not, you have to bring the proof why it's not. But now, when you have the right mindset, and the whole thing is opposite, mash asu v'seise like avon whatever is forbidden and it goes against the the intent of creation to make a different achdeinim asu v'achlata mehechlat it's for sure um, forbidden. Not just forbidden things, which is obviously awesome, and even something that's permissible, it's awesome. Yeah, this is a beautiful idea. So he's saying, he's saying, when the mindset changes, so then you look at things. Not, is this kosher? Can I eat it? And and that's that's the the, the minimum, and that's the the maximum. But when you change your mindset, you realize the whole purpose of me being here is to make a dwelling place for Hashem, to make Hashem welcome. So then we ask ourselves before we do anything, hey, is this, is this helping? It's like, to use a simple example, it's like when a person is like an Olympic athlete. Or, you know, everyone that's trying to achieve something in life. And they ask themselves, is this helping what I'm trying to achieve? You know? It's, it's like, uh, to another example, it's like I heard once, one of the best uh, sports players in the world. And you look at all the best. They all worked very hard. And and like I heard one time, uh, one of these players, he said his son wants to be like him. And he told, and he saw his son drinking Coke. And he said, it's not going to work this way. You can't drink Coke and, and be the best. You have, to take, you have to take care of your body and the way you eat and the way you, you do these things. And this is sort of, this is the Hanukkah. This is the action that we have. 
hey, I'm here for a mission. Hashem brought me here, but he wants to make a deal with him. And he needs me to do mitzvahs and tear mitzvahs. And everything that I do makes a difference to this. It's like you live in a house, you know, we're meant to clean up the house, so to speak, for Hashem. So in my house, I have to make it clean. So everything that you do, is it, is it to help the house get cleaner or make it worse? You think, oh, what do you mean? But I'm like, this is fine. The, the question is, is, this, is it helping the house be clean so the king can come or not? And this is what we have to ask ourselves. This is that Hanukkah, this is the way we, we look at the axiom that we should be looking at. It. And, when we, and when we have that, that axiom, because of everything that we've done, so therefore, whatever's, whatever's forbidden is for sure forbidden. Whatever is permissible, I ask him, is kosher? Is that beneficial for me? Does that help me connect to Hashem? Does that help the Dibbit And that's the question you've got to ask. Now it could. It could be, like I had a, like a years ago, I had this with Fereng, we, we discussed this on, and this guy said, you know, I, he was having a bad day, him and his wife, they had a, like a rough day, and they decided to go get some ice cream. They got ice cream and they got much happier. So that's, that's very good. The ice cream was used for the benefit. But if you come and you say, Ah, oh, what I'll eat the ice cream, who cares? I'll go to bed late, I don't care. Life is free to do whatever I want. It doesn't work. That's not a deal with the attitude. Yeah, but Shuvah, the Yitzhahara. And therefore, when the Yitzhahara comes and he makes problems, Hatoyin, he says, She ate Shuvah, you need him. You need him. What do you mean? You need him. You need to take a break. You need to do these things. He, so what do we answer him? Haba raya mishum shachazaka hi sheyeshna raka lekus v'amaitzim mechaveri a love raya. So now the same argument have before that that because before we said remember a person has a Reuben has the field. Shimon comes and says hey that's my field so you have to prove it to me. That meaning and before we said the the action was there's a world. You want me to do godly things? You want me to you want, you want me to tell me this is not good for me? Prove it to me. This looks kosher to me. So now the now the, the axiom is the opposite. The reality is it's only a likus, it's only goldiness. And so you come in and Nathar comes to oh, what do you mean you need this? Prove it to me. Why do I need this? Why is this beneficial for me? How does this help me in my mission in life to make a better world? I did it after him. How does it how does it help me? So therefore, everything he comes in contact with has that from the opposite perspective. Like the chassidim say, What's forbidden is, is obviously forbidden. The Hamutter and what is permissible ain't terrible. You don't need it. And the Chassidim used to, used to meditate on this and, used to, and, and they did it for years. And they said, whatever is, what is forbidden, it's obvious it's forbidden. And that's not even so obvious for us, unfortunately. You know, we have things that we struggle with. But he's saying, even if it's permissible, it's totally kosher. You know, and it's all wrong. It's a kosher video, it's a kosher ice cream, it's a kosher activity. But the question is, we have to ask ourselves, is this benefiting us? Like, like the soccer player, it's Coke. What's the problem with Coke? Is it benefiting you? Is this going to get you to your goal? And this is what we're saying. And, and, and this is so empowering on so many levels. Now, of course, we don't have to be perfectionists about this. And it's a lifelong process. But I think it, it's, an, it's an attitude that we can have in our lives, that our lives will be so much better. Because we're connecting with our, with our lacus and the lacus that's in the world. And we see ourselves this way. And we see the world this way. And that's what we're saying. That we come and look at ourselves and say, hey, I'm not just a nobody doing nothing. And uh, once in a while I do a mitzvah and then, you know, Hashem doesn't like me. Hashem loves us and Hashem needs us. And He gives us this, this idea of Dibit Achtenim. And He wants from us to help make a dwelling place for Him. For God Himself. And how do we do that? It's by our actions. And, and when you say to yourself, does it really make a difference if I, if I don't eat, if I wait an hour or, or between milk and meat or... 59 minutes does it make a difference? It makes a big difference. Not just makes a difference in that case, which for sure makes a difference, but even in other cases, well, it's ice cream or whatever. So I want to step a little later, watch a movie. Is that going to help you? Is that beneficial for you? And, and, and this is the this is forbearing of Chassidim have to have. We have to have with ourselves and think, figure this stuff out. Because for some person, it could be the worst thing, or some could be the best thing. But it's mutter. It's all permissible. The ice cream could make your day much better after a bad day. Or the ice cream could be make you depressed or just you know, feel unhappy. Or suppressing your emotions and it's a negative thing and everything you know like i say just to end it off here and tomorrow we'll finish up the sikha when I, before i understood chassidus properly i said everything was black and white you know because of what you learn from this and this is how i used to think about it ah it's permissible ah but it's not good because obviously it's uh, you don't need to have ice cream it's not good it's taking away it's taking you away that's how it is so there's black and white there's there's, there's kedusha and everything else is clipper. And whatever's in the middle is basically leaning towards the 
clip on. But then I sat down and said, I realized there's more nuance than that. That the ice cream could be actually very good. And, you know, these and some things that I think is bad, you know, sometimes we need a break. And so you go do something for the break, could be very good. And sometimes, you know, doing um, whatever it is, of course, if it's, of course, in the realm of permissibility, but, but it changes, you know, and a, a simple, ex- like one story that I'll like, like explain this point. One time I had guests coming for Shabbos, from out of town even, and, and I was very tired. I went to shul and I said to myself, what should I do? I was tired. I said, you know what? I want to, I want to take a nap. I said, oh, maybe I should learn something. So I have a bar to sit by the table. How can I come? I come to the table with these guests and not everyone's so religious and I'm not going to have a, a bar to so I said to myself, one second, let me figure this out. Let me think. Like we said before in the Sikha, Ezochacham Reis Neilad, who is wise and sees the future. I said, one second. I might be able to get a Dvaitaira now in these 20 minutes, but I'm going to be falling asleep by the table. And I see, and how that's going to benefit the, the guests. I said, I'll hear my Dvaitaira and they'll see me fall asleep. That's all, that's all respectable. respectable. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take a nap. And that's where you realize, that's why when, I, when that happened, I didn't. I took a nap and I came to the meal and I was a manch. And uh, we forbade, it was a very good meal. But the, but, the, but the thing I realized that used to be black and white, and now, and the gray didn't really exist, or it was very small, now the gray is very big. Because, because what do you mean? Seemingly, what do you mean? Learn, learn, it's Kedusha, it's for sure, Divit Achtanim. But in this case, going and taking a nap was a Divit Achtanim, and that was always helping it. And this is sort of the, the meditation and thing we have to think about. We have to ask ourselves, what are we, where is it going? Is this beneficial or not? And with and, and amidst Hashem, we should walk in this. It's a lifelong avoid us. I don't have to be perfect at it. But it's trying, learning, seeing it, and thinking about it. And as time goes on, we'll get better at it. And we'll, we'll, we'll see the beauty of it. And everyone should realize the beauty that they have and the different that Hashem wants from us. And we should be very successful at it.